Today we wanted to chat about what you can expect on your first visit here at Connection Chiropractic. And in reality, the first thing you can expect is these two smiling faces. They may be covered in a mask right now, but you know that they're smiling under that mask. If you've ever been here, you know for sure you've got some smiles coming at you. Uh, in reality, on that first visit, you can expect to us to sit down, uh, have a listen, really care about you and what's going on. And really, um, the biggest thing is to get to know you, not just the problem, but get to know you. And then from there, to know that we're gonna get started on that first visit too. See you soon. So today's question is what makes our office unique? And I think that there's a couple things. I think the first thing for me is that it's a place that I love to hang out and that we as a team love to hang out. And I think that that creates a really nice environment for anybody coming in. All of the light, all of the natural elements in here and it being a space that we are genuinely, truly happy to be in. But I think the biggest and most important thing is that we're people first. So it's about you, not just your problems. We wanna know about you, what matters to you. And the biggest thing I hear from people is nobody's ever explained it to me that way before. And that really makes sense to me. And you've helped me understand what's going on with me. And I feel a whole lot better about this being a challenge, not a burden. And so often people coming away from our office feeling empowered. It's never a quick fix, but that empowerment means a lot. And that connection, that connection chiropractic is certainly what we're all about. Today the question is, what's my ultimate success story in practice? And I have so many that I actually can't narrow it down to one. It's every time somebody comes in and says, thank you for getting my life back. Every time someone says, I didn't know this was possible. Every time someone says to me, oh my gosh, I can breathe, I can stand up straighter. And these all sound like such simple things, but they're all the things that we don't experience all the time in life. And, and we take for granted or we don't even know that we've been missing. Um, I love when someone comes in and says, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm sleeping better. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm pooping better. You wouldn't believe it, but... And all those stories that they start to experience, those are my ultimate success stories. The changes that people don't ever expect. Um, and mostly it's just this idea that they start to come alive again. And that's those are the most, the biggest success stories that I see that give me chills, that make me so excited to come to work each and every day. Today's question is, who is our ideal patient here in the office? And of course, I love working with all ages. If you've been in here, you've seen newborns, and my oldest patient right now is 93 years old, and I love them all. Um, the biggest thing is, who do I love working with, even within those ages? And that comes down to our values. And one of my biggest values is an, an opportunity to learn and to change and to take action. And so I love working with people who want to learn and take some accountability and some action in their life. I love sharing the chiropractic adjustment with people and being able to use my hands to make a huge change. And I love working with people who will take the time to not only notice those changes, but then take some action in their own lives as well. I love working with people who want vitality, who want greater health, and who want more engagement in their life and with those around them. If that's you, can't wait to see you. So today's question is, what are three things that I think our community should know about chiropractic? And so the first thing, it's actually come up twice in the last week, is that it's not just a bone out of place. It's actually about function and vitality. It's about the brain connection to the rest of your body and how movement of your spine informs that brain so it can function and control things and coordinate far better. The second thing is it's not just about pain. It's about vitality. It's about life expression. It's about you actually being able to get out and engage in life at a much higher level in all ways, not just getting rid of pain. And the third thing is one of the things I hear the most often. It's things like, well, that was easy, or wow, it does way more than I imagined, or most importantly, I wish I'd been here earlier. Those are the three things I wish you'd known. It's not just about pain, it's not a bone out of place, it's about function and vitality, and most people wish they'd come in far sooner. See you soon. We often have people who want to know how they can tell a friend or a family member about our office. And that can be a challenging thing to try to explain what is it like here? What is the experience all about? So a couple of resources you can send them to, Dr. Pitt Penrose on Facebook and Instagram, Connection Cairo on Facebook and Instagram, on YouTube, Dr. Pitt Penrose, I've got tons of resources there. Our website, uh, connectionchiropractic.ca. Uh, I think that's probably all I can think to list right now. Better yet? Yeah, better yet, just call Dina and myself at the office 
uh, 519-305-8700. Um, and we'd be happy to discuss anything or answer any questions that you may have. Yeah, and you can also take it from others by Googling us and check out the reviews from our own practice members. There's a lot of questions that people have and we love answering as many of them as we can. So there's no silly questions and we look forward to hearing from you and your friends. Today's question is why should kids experience chiropractic care? If you've been in my office, chances are at some point you've been here and there's been a little person getting adjusted. One of my favorite reasons that kids should get adjusted is because their nervous system is growing and changing faster than any of ours, which means their little bodies and their little brains have to process physical, chemical, and emotional changes faster than any of us ever remember doing so, other than when you're pregnant maybe. And so it's supporting their neurodevelopment. It's supporting their bodies growing and changing and being the best they possibly can be. A couple of other tidbits, they love it. The number of kids who ask their parents to come in and say, mommy, can we go get my wiggles? Mommy, can we go see Dr. Pip? Parents will tell me that they start to relax and they're calmer and all kinds of other wonderful changes. So it's a really great thing for kids to experience and for parents to get to see how wonderful it is for their kids.